A new court ruling could help pave the way for massive backcountry developments that almost always get, get challenged at the ballot box. ABC 10 News reporter John Horn explains why that could mean nearly 600 new homes in Northeast Oceanside. When the Oceanside City Council approved the North River Farms project in 2019, Catherine Carbone and her group sprung into action. The people were educated by us on this issue and they went and did their due diligence. Let Oceanside Vote gathered 12,000 signatures opposing the project, which called for 585 new homes, retail, a fire station, a farmer's market, agriculture, and open space on 213 acres in Northeast Oceanside. The signatures forced the city of Oceanside to send North River Farms to the November 2020 ballot, where voters rejected the project two to one. They understand the fire dangers. They understand the infrastructure problems. They understand the whole thing, the traffic, and it's just a problematic area to put housing. But North River Farms got new life this month when a Superior Court judge rendered the referendum vote invalid, citing a 2019 state law meant to spur housing development. The law took some housing development powers away from cities and as an extension, referendums. For far too long, we've had projects that have literally gone years through the development process, examining every issue in painstaking detail, going through the regulatory gauntlet, the public review gauntlet, and getting all the way up to the decision-making process, meeting that objective, and then getting wiped out by a referendum. Legal analysts say the decision could be precedent setting, but there is a 60-day window to appeal. John Horn, ABC 10 News. The project manager for North River Farms said developer Integral Communities is optimistic about the ruling and looks forward to providing housing in this supply-constrained market.